In the year 1932, Subhash Chandra Bose became extremely sick in jail. He was arrested during the civil disobedience movement. After over a year, the British government allowed him to travel to Europe for treatment. He arrived in Vienna, the capital of Austria. In 1934, a European publisher assigned him the task of writing the intense struggle. Netaji needed someone who knew English and had typing skills to type up the manuscript of his book. He asked an Indian friend who recommended a young woman of 23, Emily Schenkel. Subhash Chandra Bose and Emily Schenkel hit it off almost immediately. 1934 onwards, Subhash and Emily kept in touch with each other through letters. He wrote to her even at the busiest times and also from jail. Shugato Bose, the grandson of Subhash Chandra Bose's elder brother, Sharad Chandra Bose, wrote in his book that Subhash's life changed dramatically after meeting Emily. According to Shugato Bose, earlier Subhash Chandra Bose had received many offers of marriage, but he did not take interest in any. Emily's beauty had cast a spell on Subhash Chandra. Shugato Bose quoted Emily in his book, "Love was initiated by Subhash Chandra Bose and gradually our relationship turned romantic. After the birth of their daughter Anita on November 29, 1942, Netaji came to see Emily and Anita in Vienna in December. Netaji's niece and law Krishna Bose has written about the relationship in the book A True Love Story Emily and Subhash. Emily told Krishna Bose that on December 26, 1937, they got married in their favorite resort in Austria. However, both decided to keep their marriage a secret. They saw each other for the last time in Berlin in February 1943, two months after the birth of their daughter Anita. She brought up their daughter on her own, working to support herself and Anita. Emily was sitting in her kitchen one evening in August 1945 when she heard the news of Subhash Chandra's death. Around that time, Emily's apartment was searched by British army officers. They took away several letters written to her by Netaji, never to be returned.